Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Digi EQs in Pro Tools 8 to widen the stereo field of your mix. Let's check it out. So let's say you have a stereo track that you want to widen the, uh, its stereo field. So I have a synth here. I'll play it real fast. And I want to widen that stereo field. So first thing you want to do is create a mono aux, shift command N for new track, and then mono auxiliary. And then I'm going to name it stereo imager. Then on that stereo track, you want to go to the sends and choose a mono bus that you're not using. So I'm going to choose bus one. So I'm not going to bring up the level just yet. Next, you want to go to that aux and the input, you want to use that corresponding bus that you just used. So bus one for that aux. Then you want to instantiate the digi one band EQ on the aux. Then you want to go to the input of the EQ and flip the phase. Okay. So what's happening here i'll bring up the bus level so you can hear it and what's happening is since you flip the phase the information in the center is almost being canceled out or lowered in amplitude and the remaining frequencies around the center are being pushed out wider to create that wider stereo field so i'll bring up the i'll bring up the send level so you can hear it so when you bring it up to unity 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 gain almost all the center information gets canceled out so you don't want to do that so bring it up to taste all right i'll leave it there So what's great about using the EQ and flipping the phase is you can bring some of those frequencies back into the center. So I'm going to do a low pass filter and visually if the phase wasn't flipped you'd be cutting out all those highs. But since you flip the phase those highs are coming back into the center. So you can choose you know highs or lows whatever you want to do. But I'm going to do the highs because I want my bass to sit in the center real nice. So I'm going to do about 1.5K. And, and let's hear this now. Just the synth. So now there's room in that center where I can fit my bass, my kick, my snare. It's a great little mixing technique to, you know, create space for your other instruments in the center and ha still maintaining a wide stereo field for your tracks for your stereo tracks so i'll play them together without the stereo imager so you can hear so the bass kind of gets a little washed out so with the stereo imager pushing out the frequencies around the center out further to create a wider field the bass will sit better in the center 